All right, here we are. Ready for the Damahagua waterfall. Wow. Here we are at Ocean World in Dominican Republic, and this place is amazing. You gotta check out the bird section. They're known for their dolphins and sea lions, but we're having a great time with all the birds. You're gonna love this video. Sit back, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and check out Ocean World. Ocean World! Welcome to How to Have Fun Cruising. That's right, with the Liche and Tommy T, and we're taking you down to Amber Cove. That's right, one of the most popular destinations in DR. Carnival Cruise Line has done an amazing job with this port, and there's all kinds of great shore excursions. Today, we got a special for you. That's right, the Amber Cove Challenge. Two of the most highly sought after shore excursions, the 27 Falls versus Ocean World. So you comment down below tell us which one you think is better and what you found is the, your best experiences when you came to amber cove but today we've got a great video for you if you don't know our channel please subscribe you're gonna love it we've got all kinds of videos shore excursions check out our facebook instagram website how to have fun cruising and you're gonna love it that's right folks we've got all kinds of cool videos how about bermuda Ca uh, aquarium the crystal caves gibbs hill five secret spots all kinds of cool things Whoa, all the way up. In addition to how to have fun cruising, we also have our sister channel, How to Have Fun Outdoors, where it all started almost at a million views. This is a channel you want to check out with all kinds of RV, state parks, national parks, all kinds of activities outdoor, including cruise ship videos. But today, it's all about Amber Cove and two of the top shore excursions. We're going to go through both of these destinations with you from front to back, full tours, and you get to decide yourself what you like better. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start, that's right, at the unbelievable Ocean World. That's right, it's like the mini Sea World, but kind of funner. There's all kinds of cool things that you can do there, including snorkeling, playing with the dolphins, interacting with the sharks, but we love the bird area also. That was honestly one of the biggest surprises. Everybody on the ship seemed to love Ocean World. You can see all the dancing and happiness going on on the Mardi Gras. We took that down, picked this shore excursion on this particular cruise, and we actually had a lot of fun. Amber Cove is just just a great place to visit. It is beautiful. Carnival owns this port. Uh, so if you're on a Carnival cruise line, uh, there's a good chance that you may hit Amber Cove and you're going to definitely want to check out this video to think about taking the kids or the family or your spouse uh, or boyfriend, girlfriend to this place because it's pretty cool. So uh, let's get started and uh, we're going to check this video out. Leave your comments down below if you've been there, uh, what you think of this uh, place and and uh, we're going to try to provide you some tips as we go through this. But again, like I said, we started off with Carnival Cruise Line, took their shore excursion, uh, took the bus out uh, to this facility. Not too far of a drive, maybe 15, 20 minutes. As you can see here, we got off the bus, jumped on the entrance. Beautiful gift shop area, as you can see here. Uh, most of the time, everyone's hitting that on the way out. But uh, lots of great stuff uh, there and uh, the music uh, was playing as we entered one big tip for everyone right off the bat is make sure you check out your show times early on and put together a plan because they only have so many shows for each event and you're definitely not going to want to miss them uh, especially the shark show and the uh, sea lions was just fantastic uh, it was a lot of fun. They had a great uh, parrot show that you're going to enjoy also. But overall, it was a really clean place, well manicured, great landscaping. And we'll start off with this shark habitat area. It was fantastic. Um, really cool. You could look through the aquarium, uh, but then they actually had a show set up and uh, you could get right up next to these sharks. And in fact, uh, as part of the show, you got to touch the sharks. They also have more interactive type events, just like with the dolphins, where you can pay extra money to get in there and swim with the sharks, which is pretty awesome. But overall, this thing was super cool. Kids went nutso uh, every time uh, they were near the sharks. It's a lot of fun. They are our brain all right. All right. Thank 
So as you can see, you can get right down in there with the sharks and have a lot of fun. But how about these dolphins? Everybody comes here to check out the dolphins. Again, they have multiple different setups uh, for the dolphins. Uh, you can have a dolphin interaction day like we had, or you can actually get in there with the dolphins. It's all a matter of money on what you like to do. But before we hit the dolphins, we want to tell you about one of our favorite places, the rainforest area, where you had all of these birds and you had these uh, just incredible uh, bird cages that you could walk in and interact with all the birds. But take a look at this. This was really remarkable. area also held some pretty cool tropical uh, South American kind of aquariums if you will where you could check out some of these other fish uh, outside of our region really neat they also had all the big lizards iguanas and you name it in this area so we found it to be very fun very interactive and then the bird show itself was just a hoot take a look at this hello, hello, hello. Applause and applause. Do you wear American Eagle? Wow. What a great performance. We can say, ah, ah, you see the uniform? No. Pa, 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 cola palma, pa, pa. Indiana, in the house. Ah, ah. Wow, what a great time. Bueno, muchas gracias. Este ha sido un espectacular show de las aves tropicales de San Pedro. So tip number two is definitely don't neglect the rainforest discovery area. It was a lot of fun and quite honestly a big surprise for us. We were going there for uh, SeaWorld. We weren't expecting this, but we really, really enjoyed it. Hi, we are here at Ocean World and we are having a, the perfect day. It's actually a really, really great park. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Nice little park. It's like a miniature sea world, but it's actually really nice. They've done a really nice job with this. Okay, up next is the dolphins. When you think of Ocean World, this is why most people come here, is to check out the dolphins. That's what you think about when you think of Ocean World. Well, no question about it, there are dolphins everywhere. You can't go wrong. They've done a great job with this. There's a ton of pools, ton of places for the dolphins. Uh, you will not uh, leave this park without seeing dolphins. They're everywhere. It is super, super cool. We had a great time. They have all kinds of different packages on really how much time you want to spend with them and how much interactivity, uh, whether you want to swim with them or you just want to have more of a discovery uh, type of, uh, you know, touch and feel of the dolphins. Uh, for us, we went with the lower cost package in the full day at Ocean World, and quite honestly, it was great. Um, we got right in the water with them, and um, it was our first experience uh, with the dolphins this way. We've done the swim with the dolphins before, but this was really nice. You got to uh, interact with them quite a bit right up next to you, and if you just sit back and take a look at this, you'll see how much fun we had, and it was pretty cool.
I think the highlight of the day for Aliche was getting that hug and kiss from the dolphin, and boy, oh boy, did she love that. Obviously, they take a ton of photography in this area, so tip number three is uh, get ready to uh, break out your wallet. They do not allow filming in this area um, and uh, photography, so they've got you on the hook for that. Uh, so if you want the video or if you want all the pictures, you can get that after and we'll show you how that works. But overall, really cool, uh, really nice to uh, interact with these dolphins. And quite honestly, they are amazing. Um, and they truly have a personality to them and they're really something to see. If you've never done one of these interactive type dolphin adventures, we would highly recommend it. Well, the encounter with the dolphin was really, really amazing. It's an, an experience that I suggest to everyone. So after the dolphin adventure, you'll have the opportunity to buy all the video and pictures as stated before. So no worries about that. Uh, you actually walk right in, funnel into what's called the memories gift shop and they've got it all computerized. Pretty cool, they can put it on a stick, memory card for you, uh, print out pictures, whatever you want, they've got a package for you. After that, we wandered over to what was considered one of the most popular shows, and that's right, the Sea Lion Show. Kids absolutely love this. This is a must. This is why we back to that tip number one, make sure you plan out your day with all the shows so you don't miss any of these shows. They were really, really good, and uh, the Sea Lions are just so much fun to watch, and they're pretty amazing. Take a look at the height of that uh, jump there and we'll sit back listen to a little bit of music and watch these guys in action hey what'd you think of that The sea lions. The sea lions, so the fun. dolphins. I mean, this place is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, we are having a great day. After the sea lions, we decided to do a little bit of snorkeling. This was one of the surprises for us. We didn't expect this. There is a height requirement for this activity, uh, but they do provide all the gear uh, free of charge, and you just jump in the pool and start swimming around with all these fish. We had a lot of fun with this. And, uh, you know, if you're new to snorkeling, this is a great way to get started and uh, check out the fish and get the experience. <laughs> If you love snorkeling, you found the right channel. Definitely check out our Salt Springs, Florida. One of the few springs that you can actually snorkel in. That's right, we got to see blue crabs, all kinds of funky fish, and Aliche got to snorkel right in the actual springs. Pretty cool. How about our stingray and snorkel? That's right, what a great shore excursion that was. St. Kitts kayak and snorkel. We also got to see some stingrays there, and uh, boy, oh boy, did we have a great time. The fish were absolutely 
absolutely amazing. Take a look at that. You definitely want to watch that video. And then how about down in Aruba? We were on Carnival Freedom, checked out the VIP Schooner Snorkel Cruise. Had a lot of fun. Uh, what a cool ship. Kids had a blast. And uh, everybody just enjoyed the day down in Aruba. There's really nothing like it. Well, let's get back to the video. If you're hungry, they've got Ocean Splash Restaurant. That's right. They have a big buffet there with a set price. But our tip, our next tip for you, quite honestly, is all about go ahead, sit down and order off the menu. We think we made out way better. That's right, way better ordering off the menu and the food was actually excellent. So don't feel like you've got to do the buffet, uh, order off the menu and uh, we got some great chow. So overall, we had a great time. Uh, we finished up today at the gift shop. And uh, as you can see here, Alice didn't want me buying any more of those souvenirs. But we jumped back on the bus, headed back to uh, Amber Cove, and had a wonderful day. Okay, so as you can see, Ocean World is a cool little park. But up next is the Damahagua Falls. That's right, many refer to it as the 27 Falls. Short bus ride out to the falls from Amber Cove, but you're gonna to get to see some jumping and uh, swimming and sliding down the rocks. This is a super cool shore excursion and let's get started with this one. Something beautiful, yeah. amazing, jumping, sliding, swimming, everything. They're gonna, gonna have, enjoy it they're gonna have water slides, everything? Yes. So everything this, is, this is like a natural wet and wild, it's, right? Yeah, it's natural. It's national park, natural water. If you're considering this uh, excursion in the Dominican Republic, we highly recommend it. It is one of the most beautiful places we've been to in DR. And uh, this is a great fun trip. So overall, you're gonna need some water shoes. You can bring your own or you can rent them there for $8. There are a bunch of rules uh, with this particular park. But overall, the main tip that you should be aware of is the fact that you should be in pretty good shape if you're going to go on this excursion. It is about a 30 to 45 minute hike uphill and um, you do walk through the woods and it's beautiful and gorgeous but you should be in relatively good shape if you're older, pregnant or uh, have some physical limitations. Um, we would not recommend this shore excursion. Uh, but overall, uh, as you can see here, uh, you'd take a bridge across the river over into the area where you hike up the mountain to the falls and it is fabulous. So some quick tips, there's 27 falls. If you take a taxi out there on your own, you can do that and you can sign up for a variety of different linked tours and uh, that works out pretty good. We elected to go with the cruise ship excursion and with a bigger group for this time of the year. But you can see here, we had some major hiking up the hill and uh, you did get to take some breaks as you can see and that was great uh, and you got to meet some people as you were on this journey and that was a lot of fun also especially when we heard about our friends who uh, recently racked up their internet bill it's a boyfriend we couldn't help it over here that boyfriend eighty dollar charge for internet oh what's your name where are you from Look at that. <laughs> and did you tell mom all about this $80 charge? I texted her. I told her I wouldn't use Instagram and I wouldn't use anything else. I just needed to text it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well. As you can see, we were having a lot of fun and everybody enjoyed the trip up. It was absolutely beautiful. And once you get to the river, uh, you start to come down through the cascades and the pools, sliding down or jumping down or swimming or wading along the river gorge and it was absolutely beautiful and you'll get to see that in here. We recommend uh, that you definitely bring your swimsuit, towels, dry clothes to change into when you're done. Um, don't forget to apply sunscreen. We didn't really need any bug spray but I'm sure there's times of the year where you need it. There are lockers where you can leave your things once you 
uh, get your helmet and life vest. You're off to the races. Um, like we talked about, bring your shoes. You can bring a GoPro, which is great. Um, otherwise, they are filming it, and they do charge for uh, a video at the end if you want to do that. Um, we also recommend that you, you know that the the children should be at least 12 years old or older. Um, there were some people that were a little nervous with the heights, uh, but overall, it's a fun activity. And as you can see here, it was just a great time. All right, how'd you do out there? Good, very good. I just need a shower. Yeah. Yes. That was quite the little walk, right? Oh my gosh. About 30 minutes U.S. time, about five minute Dominican Republic time, would you say? That is correct. That is correct. All right. Yeah. And now we made it to the top, so we're going to have some fun.
much fun. They are absolutely between the coolest falls that I ever seen. Look at it all, it's so fun. It is beautiful up here, incredible. My yeah. favorite destination in DR. They have done a great job with this and we still have more to go. Yeah, and the, and the landscape is also amazing. It is remarkable. All right, this is the alligator section here. They don't talk about it much. Oy, oh. But you gotta watch out for the alligators. We were just joking about those alligators. The scenery here was remarkable. This is one fantastic shore excursion. And uh, quite honestly, even with the 4K filming, uh, you still don't pick up the beauty and the depth of this great uh, waterfall uh, excursion adventure. In fact, you can actually book this with the waterfall combined with the zip line that they have there, or you can actually just do the zip line, or you can just do the waterfalls. So you have uh, three different options. Um, we actually just did the waterfalls and it was a great day. We really enjoyed it. And uh, we'll show you this last pool where they actually allowed us to slide in and jump in. So uh, you got to do both. It was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll take you all the way back to the ship. Wow, go. That's how you have fun outdoors right there. Talking about how many feet? 16 feet here? 18, like 18, 18 feet? More eight, than six meters. Eight, six meters. Let's do it, Aliche. Bye. Say goodbye. Okay. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Whoa. What an amazing time we had at this waterfall zipline park in Dominican Republic. Uh, we had a lot of fun. The nature was fantastic. There was all kinds of donkeys and uh, wildlife out there also. We really enjoyed it. It was about a 20 minute walk back from the final pool, uh, which was gorgeous through the woods as you can see here. He's doing it. It's a natural swing. What? How cool is that? Look at that. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video from how to have fun cruising that's right if you're interested in amber cove also check out our other channel how to have fun outdoors we did some really cool shore excursions from down in aruba and also dr especially this one dune buggy and cave adventure one of my favorites you gotta check that out look at aliche slow-mo and look at the caves just absolutely fantastic so thank you so much for watching how to have fun cruising we really appreciate your support please hit the like button hit the uh, uh, subscribe button notify your friends tell your friends and family and everybody else and thank you so much for watching how to have fun cruising mm -hmm.